week six of fantasy football and you're kicking it with Hussein the Brain. Welcome to FantasyCouch.com. Appreciate all the feedback and thanks you guys have been giving. But I want to send a special thank you for all the people tuning in and listening to my advice. Listening to what we have to say at Fantasy Couch. I said a few weeks ago that Victor Cruz was probably one of the best waiver wire pickups. He's turned out to be a top 10 wide receiver the past three weeks in fantasy football. Also, last week, I didn't give you guys any waiver wire pickups because I didn't believe the hype. A lot of other websites and sports networks were telling you to pick up Jacoby Jones and Steven Ridley and what they do. They gave you like two fantasy points with both of them put together. So again, thanks for listening. Thanks for believing. A lot of questions on the email and Twitter about Tim Tebow. A lot of talk going on. Is he a good waiver pickup? Yes, he is. Just based on the rushing stats that he's going to get this year, he's a great pickup. So these quarterbacks that put up good rushing stats like Aaron Rodgers, Mike Vick, uh, Tim Tebow, Cam Newton are usually worth more in most leagues. Now, if you can't get Tim Tebow, you're in a competitive league or a deep league. You're not going to be able to get him. Alex Smith is a decent quarterback for your number two or your number three if you're in a dual, league, a dual quarterback league. Let's guys have our fantasy couch. 49er expert, what he thinks about Alex Smith. Alex Smith can't say enough good things about this kid. Jim Harbaugh has him believing. Statistically, this year he's one of the best. His QB rating is third in the NFL, only behind Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Are you kidding me? This kid is a red zone machine in his career. He's only thrown one red zone interception compared to 35 touchdowns. And this year is no different. Starting off with a seven touchdown, one interception ratio, this guy is definitely on the rise. Okay. Quick question. Is Alex Smith going to the Pro Bowl this year? Definitely. Okay, wow. Let's talk about the defense. I'd say the biggest surprise. Oh, yes, sir. This is a group that hasn't allowed a 100-yard rusher in 27 games. That's almost two whole seasons. And not only that, their secondary has been greatly improved. Okay, even though Jeremy's quite a Niners fanatic, he did prove some pretty good points. And you may still be able to pick up the Niners D and, and or Alex Smith later on. Because week six, they have one of their toughest matchups this whole season. And they're playing in Detroit. And week seven is a bye. So picking up the Niners defense or another backup quarterback if you need to, you may still be able to pick them up week seven. So just keep that in mind. And make sure you like our Facebook page, and that's facebook.com slash fbfantasycouch. Also, ask us any questions you want on Twitter, at fantasycouch, and our email, thecouch at fantasycouch.com. See you next week.